all right hey guys um so i don't normally do a makeup basket video and i don't normally post on saturday but i feel like posting today so this is my makeup basket we've got products like this that's in my project pan we've got products like this and this where i use one at a time so for this, this is the only one I have like this. It's a CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF. This is almost gone. I've had it for a little while. SPF for your face is important. So, that being said, I've never used one before. So this was gifted to me. I think it was like a, it was a Christmas present. And uh, I didn't get it till that June though. Like Christmas was the December and then I finally, like I didn't, you know, that's beside the point. This is in the basket until it's gone. This is my Mario Badescu facial spray. My setting, sorry. Um, I only use one facial spray at a time. This is the only one open. I have a couple more in my makeup storage thing, but only one open at a time. Let's see, let's just do... Ooh. Then I've got my lip smacker. It's my vanilla lip balm. I have several of these open. I've got one in my purse, one in my bedside, and this is in my, this particular one's in my um, basket. And I'll use it until it's gone and then switch it out. We've got two mascaras. This one stays in at all times. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Wimp Waterproof Mascara. I use this for my bottom lashes. Before this, it was the um, Maybelline Lash Discovery and I used that one until it was gone. And then I had the e.l.f. Um, <clears throat> I don't know which one it was, but it was the, it was the one with the little wand. Not too thick, but I didn't care for the wand. So this is for my bottom lashes. And then we've got the <clears throat> Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is a mini I had the full size, I think, I can't remember how I acquired that one. I think it was, I can't remember, was it at the time I got that palette in a giveaway that I won? Or if it was a gift with purchase type thing, anyway, I can't remember. I decided I didn't like it because of the wand. The mascara itself is okay, I guess, but the wand I'm iffy on. But we're going to use this this week. And then we've got this mini hourglass finish airbrush concealer. I use this for under my eyes. It's not much. Well, it's some left. I don't know if you could see. But I like this concealer for underneath my eyes. And I remember a time where... I stopped using concealer altogether because no matter which one I used, which brand it either was too dark, made my under my eyes look older than what they are. And I am a little bit older. I'm not in my twenties anymore. But I don't want to look even older than what I am. Makeup is, makeup shouldn't be like that, so I just quit using concealer altogether. But this year I've decided to try some. I haven't tried this as a spot concealer because it's too light for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's 30 something and it's when I'm filming this. I just woke up, decided to film this to get it, so I can get it up later. So I've learned when I wake up this early, I sound like this, it'll go away. But anyway, I do wanna try, so this particular one is for under my eyes. I like it. I think when I get another one, I'm gonna get one under my eyes and maybe get another shade for a spot concealer because I like this concealer. Do I have the other one in here? Yes. Sir. I've got two LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage bright, uh, Brightening Concealer. I've got LP4 
and the LN6. I use these as um, the concealer for my face, but for my foundation to cover redness. I use them interchangeably. One's almost gone, so I mix them. I tried taking a stopper out of that, but it wouldn't come out. Um, if you own this and you've taken the stopper out, how did you do it without breaking into pieces? Um, I like this. I may get another one when I run out of both of these. If I got either one of these, I think I would get LP4 again. Or I may find one that matches just a little better. Because I think, because <clears throat> what I use these for. I have redness on my face, a little bit of redness on my face, a little bit of redness on my chin. Nothing horrible. But I notice it. And uh, I don't know if anybody else would put it on makeup. But so this works to cover that. But I don't know if it was if it's an exact shade match. But it does work, so I like these for that. Okay, so we've got the Ordinary Serum Foundation in L.1.1 in Bare Neutral. It's almost gone. This is in my project pan. So spoiled by me saying it's almost gone. This stays in the basket until it's gone. I use it. Will I repurchase this? No. I mean, the Serum Foundation, it's not horrible. And I do like a super light coverage but I want something that cover, that has coverage just you know a little bit more also this isn't a good shade match none at all not a good shade match in winter, fall or definitely not summer spring so once this is done it's done we've got my super shock on the cusp highlighter it's almost gone too. This is in here until it's gone. And this, this is one that doesn't always stay in. This is the Elf No Budge Shadow Stick Rose Quartz. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But you can. I use this as an inner corner. I, I need to use it on my eyelids. I have a blue and purple, a blue and green one, but I think I'm gonna use those as liners, and this I just use as an inner corner. Okay, this is the uh, CoverGirl Clean Yummy Gloss in the shade. Does it have a shade? Yeah, Sugar Poppy. At this point in time, I um, it's just a clear gloss. It's got like a really sheer tint of pink. At this point in time, I rotate my lip products weekly. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Something, something. <clears throat> I don't know what this is called specifically, but this is just a brown mascara. Here's the wand. This is for your brows. It's too early, I can't think. And this will be in there until it's gone. And normally I don't do my brows either, but this year I decided to um, try some brow products. And I have never done my brows in my life. But I decided to. I had an e.l.f. pencil finished well. I don't know what's wrong with that. I feel like that one went faster than it should have. Bam. This is what I'm using right now. The CoverPal True Blend Eyeliner and Taupe. This is the e.l.f. Uh, it's gotten so small. I don't know if it's everlasting or long-lasting, but this is the, um... 
eyeliner, but first espresso. This is the cover girl one. Taupe. These are my project too. Almost gone. And I'm going to finish them. This is also in the project. This is my butter bronzer and bronzer. So that's stay in until I meet my goal. This is another one that I use one at a time. I have a few more in my makeup storage. But I only keep one open at a time. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, plus 4% nice, but I, I love, <clears throat> excuse me, I love the Power Grip Primers. And I did, I loved them enough where I got a backup of the original, because I was, on, I was close to finishing the original. Um, and I know that's probably aggravating, so I'll stop. But anyway, I got the original, loved it, when it was almost done, I repurchased it, so I have a backup of that. I'll probably get a backup of this too. I don't know. But I do love it. It's a problem. My cover girl my cover girl powder. One twenty creamy natural. This is broken I didn't realize it's left I bought it. I am not taking it back. But this is in my project too. This is in here until it's gone. There are some days that I might pull another powder, but those are for our people in between. But mainly it's this one. My blush for the week is my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Natural Glow. Let's see. It's a really nat when they say natural, it's right there. Hopefully you can see that. Well, I may have went over the uh, lip gloss. This is really pretty. So that's the blush for this week. The eyeshadows. <clears throat> Excuse me. So my palette for the week is going to be the ColourPop. Cloud Spun. Yeah, the ColourPop. Cloud Spun is my pen. So that's the eyeshadow palette for this week. And then my single is the Wet n Wild. And it's a nutty. And that's what nutty looks like. So this is my makeup basket for the week. I don't know if I'm going to do these every week. I might. I haven't decided. But this this will go up today. Also, ignore those. That's for another, those are for another video. But anyway, um, what are you using this week as far as makeup goes? Let me know in the comments. And... Let me know your favorite brand. So let me know what products you're using this week. Let me know how often you switch your makeup basket. Um, yeah, let me know all that in the comments. Bye.